Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and thanks for joining. Is this the bottom and the bear market is finally over? How high will stocks go now? Or will they tank again? Let's look into this potential short-term bull case. As much as I am bearish on the longer-term economic and geopolitical environment, I still have to realize that there are periods of strong bullish market reactions that we can profit from. As mentioned in an earlier video, springtime until May is usually quite bullish and we have again earnings season. All the bear market rallies that have happened in this crash always happen shortly before and during earnings season. And the next FOMC meeting and rate decision is also still more than two weeks away on May 2nd and 3rd. So that would be the timeline I would expect markets to rise. If the other banks don't publish bad numbers, not to forget, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, BlackRock and Citigroup had earnings reported recently. But despite the banking crisis, the numbers were positive. Does this mean that the banks are in good shape? No, I don't think so. I have to admit these days you cannot rely on any financial or economic data anymore, like with the CPI number of last week which dropped quite a bit. But what people forget is that they just recently revised the way the CPI is calculated. And of course the official inflation numbers are coming down now as a result. This was always the case. So as a truth veteran, we know that this is all BS. But the stock markets still react on this data as if it would be worth the paper that it is printed on. So we can take this to our advantage. I personally don't believe that the crash is over. In my view it has not even really started yet but if people want to buy stocks then that's fine to me too. But with these swing trade positions, you don't have the advantage of sitting losses out if it does not go your way. Because overall I think the market is still going down. So betting in the short term that it will go up a bit is quite risky. Because if this movement does not happen, then you lose money compared to a situation where you would just continue to hold your short positions. Therefore I treat these as a swing trade and for those I use stop loss orders. And at the same time I will use these higher levels to build up my larger short position again. This will be my primary position. So I am driving a small short term long position and a bigger long term short strategy at the same time. Because I don't know exactly when it will continue to crash. This because I have the feeling that no matter what the numbers of Bank of America and Charles Schwab might be, markets will continue to go a bit higher. It's all fairy dust anyways. Netflix is on Tuesday and Tesla the day after on the 19th. Now it looks like that Elon might be milking Tesla again for his new artificial intelligence startup, so there is a risk that he might be selling more shares soon. That maybe he wants to give the stock a little boost with particularly good numbers or a great vision before he starts selling more Tesla shares. Got to love or hate the guy for that. Either way, I would expect the Nasdaq to rise about 500 to 1,000 points close to 14,000 points now. With the next resistance zones around the previous highs of 1,300 points and 13,700 afterwards. I just entered my swing position on Thursday and Friday last week around 13,100 as an average. If it falls back close to my entry point, I am probably exiting that one again but I think that might be a good opportunity to bridge the time while we wait for the majority of the other market participants to realize that a major recession is coming and to find a good spot to enter a larger short position gradually again. Just don't follow this idea blindly, you most likely will lose money, and this is no financial advice. I probably will start taking some profits for this bullish swing trades when we are getting up to 13,700, or on May 3rd when the Federal Reserve communicates their rate decision. Now is this kind of time in between where we are waiting for the economic storm to hit and reveal itself. But hard to see exactly when this is happening. But as long as there is no official pivot of the Federal Reserve, meaning they are actually starting to cut rates, my primarily negative macro outlook will remain. Another interesting chart is also the gold chart. Now as expected we have hit that line there and have been immediately rejected. The question is now will it continue to fall like a rock as it always did before? Or are we about to witness the start of the next longer trend up? I definitively think that the case for gold is improving and with my given equities long scenario which would require the dollar to go lower as well, this would mean gold is breaking out too. But hard to say. Another thing not to forget is that if interest rates are no longer raised much, then the US dollar will weaken which is a further boost to equities and to gold, but also to inflation, so need to keep that one in mind. Either way that's my play for next week. What are you guys thinking? Where is it going from here? Please let me know in the comments below. Hope that information was helpful. Thanks for watching and all the very best to you.